I have no idea why I bursted into that song, but I did that just for you. Thanks. <laughs>
better. Well, it's, it's I mean, slightly. So I'm betting that it's just the trailer. Yeah, I'm get, uh, that's my hope that the quality of the trailer, the brightness of the trailer, was yeah, that's down. happened a lot with trailers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the account of human rights lawyer Shahid Azmi, an ordinary citizen with an extraordinary commitment to justice. Okay. Yeah. So he's clearly. I don't. I don't think he is. I, that moment where she's accusing him or seeming to accuse him of being connected to terrorists, and he says, "Are you calling me a terrorist?" That looked like somebody was holding a handheld camera in a courtroom. That looked very real and raw. It, obviously, we love Rajkumar Rao, and I want to get into a ton of his stuff ton of his because stuff. Um, he's a phenomenal actor. But I loved, at least, I don't know if it's this way, maybe it was just cut this way in the trailer, but he kind of did a bunch of pauses mm -hmm. instead of immediately going, are you accusing me? Mm -hmm. He kind of was like, he thinks. Are you accusing Yeah. Are you accusing me? Yeah, he definitely listens and thinks, uh, which is something that not a lot of actors do or do well. Right. Um, <laughs> the, so that's why he's so impressive in every, like, I mean, we've only seen him in one, two things now. We've seen a bunch of trailers. Right. And we know his reputation. Right. Um, but uh, he he's just a brilliant actor. He, okay, yeah. Omerta was the other one. Uh, so this guy has worked with Rajkumar Rao at least three times. Okay, so wait a minute. The name Anurag Kushyap was the producer then. Well, but Not the director the is Hansel. Right, but I saw the name Anurag Kushyap, and that must be the producer. Yeah, he uh, did Queen and Udan and Gangs of Wasikar. Got it. That's where I've seen the name. And he produces. Yes. Got it. Uh, but May direct as well, but I just, I thought. Hansel directed Shahid, Got it. Algira, and Omerta. Um, um, Omerta, right? Yeah. Omerta, yeah. This was the, the one about the gay man. Yeah, which we saw the trailer for. Yeah, it looked really phenomenal. Want to watch that. It's on Shit. the list. Uh, the... And then... What is it? There's one more. Where was it? Omerta. I wasn't particular... I want to see the film because of him and the content. It almost felt like it was trying to be two trailers in one for me. Uh, oh, I didn't feel that. No? No. Uh... I, I couldn't tell if it was a courtroom drama or a thriller. It's probably both. And maybe that's what it is. It's both because, like, if somebody's being accused, if he's catching a terrorist, there's going to be courtroom scenes. So it's sure. Happen, but whoever is the justice, so okay. it's going to be both. Um, who, whoever the terrorist he's going after. Maybe why it's connected is he's going after that other terrorist. Because I thought they were connected somehow. You could, I could the be, lives of these two people from he, history, Omerta and this they, guy. They may be, I could be a thousand percent wrong, and I, I just, I thought I saw something that it was connected, and you could tell me that I'm hundred percent wrong. That would be weird. Uh, I have to play two roles out of the same story of two people at the same time. That'd be crazy, right? Yeah, uh, but it looks like he is falsely accused, maybe, um, of being a terrorist, and then look, the, the poster, at least, yeah, shows yeah. that he's naked. It looks like it, something happened. The poster, and yeah, and he's. Maybe put in prison, tortured, because people think he's an actual terrorist. Yeah. Which is a very interesting story. I love... Rajkumar Rao, once again. Uh, I love this... Like, everything we've reacted, even though we haven't seen everything, his choices are very good. Very good. And very interesting, very different. Yes. He picks stuff that he... like. He, that, only is unique and he wants to do clearly uh, yeah at least now of course right yeah because he has uh, the ability to do that he has the uh, ability even in the last one that we had didn't get to see because it didn't really come here the uh, judgmental high kai right it's it's not just a love story it's a very mm -hmm. these two very interesting quirky mental illness characters right um, this is gonna you may um, he reminds me and his choices that we've seen so far mm -hmm. He reminds me a lot of the kind of choices that I believe Christian Bale makes for his films. Yeah. Uh, not not the the difference is that what Christian Bale chooses to do is transcendent ship shaping. You know, he, he ship shaping. I just said that shape shifting. Ship shaping. Wow, my brain. Uh, I'm not talking about it in that regard. I'm talking about the particularities in which he's attracted to a role. Christian Bale is very particular in what attracts him. I get the same sense from him that he's very particular in what he wants. Has to he do. ever done that thing like Chris? Because at least he used to. I know he's talked about slowing it down because he's older now, but transforming his body, right? Gaining a hundred pounds, losing it, right? At, doing a Robert De Niro, very unhealthy, very unhealthy and dangerous. Uh, I mean, hard, it's wonderful do. as an actor because I mean, 
you kind of feel the character, mm -hmm. but very unhealthy. Yeah. Um, but does he ever do that? Are there people that have done that in India? Yeah, so not trying actors to wise? Fall about. Well, um, we know, for example, the transformation that Amir Khan went through for Dongo. Yes. We know about that. Yeah. That was true. massive. So I'm guessing, yeah, it, it happens there as well. Yeah. Um, actors are actors. <laughs> yeah. So but not every actor chooses that. Some of us are very road. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, it's, that's for I, sure. I would. It depends on the role. When, that's what was in my head immediately. It depends on the depends role. Depends on the role. And it depends and who on you're working with. How much. Yep. Like, I would do some of it. It depends. Yeah, I would do some of it. Um, obviously, it depends on how much you're paying me. Yeah, I mean, come on. If you're telling, if, I, if someone's saying, I want you to play a character where we're telling an incredibly important story from history that's going to be an important film, and you're going to be working with some of the best actors who are going to give you what you need and a director that you trust. That's when you're ready to but go then, off that but ledge. Then, I, I know we're off topic a little. Bit. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but then also, do you actually need it to like it, if it requires you to gain weight? Do you actually need to do that? Gary Oldman would say no. <laughs> no, one hundred percent. Right. So, yeah, it just depends on what the actor specifically needs. And it really comes down to I agree with Daniel Day Lewis in this regard as well. He has said the only times he's chosen films is because he felt something from the script that was inescapable. Mm -hmm. It was literally calling to him. And he can't put his finger on it. And he, that's what he looked for in scripts. The story could be great. Everything about it could be wonderful. But if it didn't have that indescribable sense of, I must do this, he wouldn't do it. Mm. I, I imagine Christian Bale probably feels the same way, especially for the shape-shifting he goes through and the danger of that. And I just... I feel like he makes those choices, and I would like to know how, what actors are known uh, in Indian film uh, who have gone through physical yeah. transformations on a pretty regular basis with their craft. And please let me know, because uh, I want to get into more of his work, what is the next one we should get into? Is it Trapped? Because I know people very loud into that one. Yeah. Omerda, Stri as right. well. Right. Uh, there's there's a, a very bunch of them. one. He has a bunch of uh, amazing films um, that we... Uh, need to watch. yeah and we really want to dive into I mean I would love to just do some this looks like it's one of his uh, earlier credits I would love to do some back to back to back to back reviews of films that just are artistically meaty and great and rich and uh, fantastic acting and screenplay I would love to get just a back to back to back to back to back also I wish this guy would come and do something in America yeah well him and 20 other Actors from India that we've seen, but this is a guy who could win an Oscar. Him and Nawazuddin. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. They're, they're, they're the people. If they're actually given the correct roles and not Baywatch, they could, you know. Yep. And there's a bunch of them, obviously. Yeah, but please let us know. Yep.